I'm Olga from Minerva and in this video I wanted to share with you my top 10 party wear and occasion wear patterns. The first pattern that I wanted to mention is the Charms Patterns Night and Day Dress. This pattern includes two different bodices and collars. It also has six different kinds of sleeves and three different kinds of skirts. So it's very complete, very versatile, and it adds um, a whole lot of range to your wardrobe. And my fabric suggestion for this would be the Minerva Core Range Classique Duchesse Satin Fabric in the color Jade. This is a incredibly rich color, which adds a really luxurious feel to this fabric. It drapes beautifully and would look really good for the holiday season. The next pattern on our list is the Closet Core Pauline dress, quite a chic and stylish one. This Closet Core Pauline dress is a really versatile in the sense that you have the sleeveless short version which is a bit more dressy and a little bit more polished and then you have the one with the big sleeves and the longer version. And my fabric suggestion for the Pauline dress is the Minerva Core Range Acetate Satin Fabric in the color Violet. I think this is such an opulent jewel tone. It has this uh, very slight sheen to it, so not a very shiny fabric for sure. Again, beautiful drape and um, would give a really beautiful finish to the Pauline dress. The next pattern on the list is actually a pattern for menswear and it is the Berta 6871. This is a pattern for a suit. It includes the trouser, the blazer, and the vest. You actually have two different versions of the blazer, a shorter and a longer version, depending on, you know, personal style, occasion, all of that good stuff. My fabric suggestion for this suit would be our Minerva Core Range Polyester Twill Suiting Fabric in the color Silver Gray. You have a variety of colors, I just thought this was a really nice color. Polyester means that it's easy to take care of, it's relatively easy to work with. I think this would make a really lovely, really lovely suit. Our next pattern is the New Look 6447. This is a really elegant dress. I think it's a really feminine silhouette. So you have the sleeveless option and then you also have an option with a little sleeve that covers the shoulder. You also get this beautiful belt detail and a flared skirt option and a pencil skirt option in varying length. Quite a bit of versatility there, I think. And my fabric suggestion for this pattern is our Minerva Core Range Prada Satin Crepe Fabric in the color red. Absolutely decadent. It's a gorgeous quality, and I think paired with the really feminine design of the 6447, it would just be such a beautiful combination. Our next pattern is Vogue 1975. This is one of their easier pattern. You have a couple of options with this view A, which is a sleeveless dress with a flared skirt. And then we have view B, which is actually a jumpsuit. It has um, short sleeves and a really flared trouser design with the fitted bodice, which I think is a great combination. It also has pockets, which is a really great addition to any outfit. So my fabric suggestion for this would be to make it in our Minerva Core Range Luxury Smooth Crepe Fabric. I chose the color Coral because I think it is a really delicate color. I think it this fabric has a really fine finish to it, really fine quality as always. So I think this is a great option as well. Next we have another new look and this is the 6341 dress. This dress has a lot of options. You have view A, which is a sleeveless dress with a flared skirt and obviously pockets. You have view B, which is the same design of dress, of bodice and skirt, but you have the three quarter length sleeves in a different fabric. Then you have view C, which is a short sleeve, same bodice, but a long skirt. And then you have view D, which is a sleeveless bodice. And then you have the long skirt, which is actually shorter at the front. And my fabric suggestion for this dress would be our Minerva Core Range Shot Taffeta Fabric in the color Cerise Pink. This is a really bright pink. I think it would be really fun to wear to a party. You don't get a lot of chances, I think, in everyday life to wear fabrics like this and to wear... Uh, colors like this. So I think when you do get the option for a party, I think you, you have to take it. Next we have a Simplicity 8743 and this is for a skirt. This pattern features four different lengths and it is a pleated skirt. Obviously it has pockets, which is a great addition to any skirt. My fabric suggestion for this pattern would be our Minerva Core Range Visco Satine Crepe Fabric and the color Mustard. I personally think that this has more 
copper vibes to me. This sateen has a really ornate finish. It has this sheen to it, sort of like liquid copper. So I think it would make a really elegant skirt. Next we have Vogue 8997 and this dress has so many variations and so many options for you and it is a really easy one to make. View A which has a wonderful flared skirt, the nice fitted bodice within a beautifully full sleeve and this one is a sort of knee length. Then we have View B which is a exactly the same dress but without the sleeve and View C which is the same bodice and the same style of skirt but it is longer. But then we also have View D, E, and F where you have the similar bodice but then you have a pencil skirt. For this you have a fitted short sleeve, you have the sleeveless option, and then we also have a three-quarter length sleeve. So a lot of versatility and a lot of different options. My fabric suggestion for this would be our Minerva Core range nostalgic crepe back satin fabric in the color beige blush. A really delicate and exquisite fabric it is extremely feminine and extremely luxurious. Our next pattern is the McCall's 7838 and this is a pattern for a blouse. I think this would pair beautifully with the skirt that I mentioned earlier. Also could be worn under dresses, could be worn with trousers, big ornate puffy sleeves are super super fashionable right now so I think this is a wonderful option. We have view A which has a sort of more cropped um, length and has short sleeves. Then we have view B, which is a little bit longer at the back, has long sleeves, but they are extremely puffy at the shoulder. Then we have view C, which is a regular length blouse. And then you have this kind of bell sleeve where it's fitted until after the shoulder, then it is completely full and then again, fitted at the cuff. And then we have view D, which is very similar to view C, except it has a bow detail at um, sort of short sleeve length, and then it is completely flared out to the bottom. There is no cuff. And my fabric suggestion for this would be our Minerva Core Range 100% cotton poplin fabric in color ivory. This has a really delicate polka dot. They are more visible in other colors if that's something that you're really interested in. But I personally love the fact that it is ivory so the, the polka dots aren't extremely noticeable. They add a little bit of texture, they add a little bit of interest but they don't steal the show if you want to wear this under a dress or if you want to wear this with a more uh, ornate skirt. And our last pattern is the Butterick 6130. In this pattern, you get both the option of a jumpsuit or dress. So you have different lengths of dress and also the jumpsuit, but as always, the bodice is the same for every single option. And obviously you have the beautiful princess seams, a kind of pencil skirt that then flares out at the bottom. So definitely a really interesting, unique look and something that is very easy to make. As for my fabric suggestion for this, I would make it in our Minerva Core Range Aisha satin fabric in the color taupe. A really gorgeous quality satin. It is extremely elegant and ornate. It has a wonderful shine to it. It has the most beautiful drape you've ever seen. It is really, really wonderful quality fabric. So I definitely recommend this one. I think this is a really unique, unusual color that you don't see that many dresses in, but would look beautiful with some sparkly accessories. Those are our top 10 patterns for occasion and party wear and also the fabrics that we suggest you use along with them. As always, everything that we have mentioned today is going to be linked below. All of the fabrics that I mentioned here today have a variety of different colors. So if the color that I chose here isn't the color for you, just have a look. There's lots of different options to choose from. As always, if you do end up making any of these, please share those with us. We would be so happy to see your creations. We love seeing them. You can go on our website and register and create a free account where you can share posts, photos, uh, videos of all of your creations. You can also follow other makers around the world and get to know people who like the same things as you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!